Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski. I'm the owner for Tutor for Finance and today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up a template to solve present value problems and future value problems. The first problem we're going to solve will be how much will $5,000 invested today at a rate of 6% be worth in 5 years. So we're trying to find out a value that's going to be in the future, which is going to be five years. So obviously we know this is going to be a future value problem. So to set up your template, the first thing you're going to do is skip a line. Uh, first thing you're going to do is open up a Excel spreadsheet and then you're going to type in future value. And we're going to scroll over a couple. Make that nice and pretty and we're going to type in data block. In the data block we are going to take all the information from the questions and um, plug them into the proper um, input sections. So when you're doing your data block the first line underneath of it is going to be your number which is going to be your number of years you'll be working with. The next is going to be your rate which is your interest rate. Under that is going to be a payment. If you have a payment involved in the problem, you'll put it in this section. Under that will be your present value. And if you're solving a um, present value problem, you're going to need a future value. So I'm going to put it there um, so we can use it in a little bit for the next problem. And we're just going to work with these. So for this, I always like to merge the cells and then color code it with the data block. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to start plugging in our variables. And for the variables, I'll always put this in blue. And then the answers will always be gray. Color coding makes it easy for you to be able to differentiate what you change and what you leave alone. So for the first problem, how much will $5,000 invested today at a rate of 6% be worth in five years? The number is going to be 5. It's going to be 5 years. We're trying to find out what the value is going to be. The interest rate is going to be 6. You definitely want to make sure you put the percent sign behind it. Payment. There's no payment being made. Um, you already have the money in the bank, and we're already trying to find out what it's going to be worth in 5 years. So payment is going to be 0. And the present value is the $5,000. We're going to leave future value alone right now until we get to the next problem. So to set up the template, um, you're going to have to enter in the um, formula from um, that Excel uses to solve the future value problem. And it's as simple as type in your equal sign, type in FV for future value, open up a parenthesis, and just follow the prompts that Excel will give you. It's asking for rate. We've got our rate right here, so we'll click on that. Separate it with a comma. And then it's asking for number of years, so we'll put number of years right there. Next thing it's asking for a payment, we'll put that right there. And then it's asking for the present value, which is our 5,000. And then it's asking for type, and we're going to say at the end of the period, the pain, um, we want to know what it is at the end of five years. And then we just close the parenthesis. And what it gives us back is it gives us back a negative number. To take care of your negative number, you go into your formula, you put your cursor between the equal sign and the future value, and you put a negative sign. Press enter, and now we have our future value, which will be $6,691.13. And for the next problem, you will receive $5,000 in five years, what is the present value if the discount rate is 6%? To set up the present value template, the first thing I would do is go ahead and type in present value. Hit the tab. Again, I'll, I'll color code it with gray, which means don't change. And then for the present value, what we want to do is the only thing we're going to change or add to is going to be for the future value. So they're telling us the future value is going to be $5,000. We're getting $5,000 in five years, so we'll type in 5000 And to solve for the present value of the $5,000, you're going to press your equal sign. Then you're going to type in PV, which is present value. Open up your parenthesis, and again, follow the prompts. 
your, it's asking for rate, so we'll click on rate, separate it with a comma, next it's asking for number, so we'll click on the five, separate it with a comma, and then we're going to click on payment, which is zero, again separate with a comma, and then now it's asking for the future value, so this time we're going to click on the five thousand dollars for the future value, and we want to know again at the end of the period, so we'll click on that, close the parenthesis, and again we get a negative number so we will go ahead and go between the equal sign and the present value and put in a negative sign and so what it's telling us is the amount of money in five years if we're going to get a payment in five years for five thousand dollars in today's dollars it is worth three thousand seven hundred and thirty six dollars and twenty nine cents hopefully this short little video um, will help you all understand how to set up your financial um, your financial problem templates. Using these templates are, are going to be able to help you solve your homework assignments a little bit easier, but it's also going to help you check your work if you have to use pencil and paper to solve your present and future value formulas. So, hope this helps. Again, my name is Paul Borowski with Tutor for Finance, and you all have a great day. Thank you.